Are you right there, buddy? <laughs> You've got yourself a nice spot there. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a very light and bright and airy, probably kind of minimal bedroom office setup. So this is a little tour. I hope you like it. And I'm also gonna give you some work at home hacks that have really helped me. So accessorizing with cute pets is always really helpful. Why you look so cranky? <laughs> She's actually really sweet. And she kind of has this like little cranky face. Okay, so what we've done here is we've separated my bedroom area over to an office area. And I've actually done this with some really strategic furniture placements. This is cube shelves that I got from Ikea. When I bought it, I got some things built into there. So there's like cupboards down the bottom and then drawers built here. That was actually a spot for Daisy, but she's decided she doesn't like it. Anyway, <laughs> I have this up against a wall before. Let me come and show you the front. But now because I'm in this room, I've actually filled it mostly with like little inserts. And I think I actually got these inserts from Bunnings but you can get them from Ikea and if you're not from Australia Bunnings is a hardware store but what I decided was to actually fill in the squares this time because I'm using this more as a makeshift wall to create this space of an office in just this one room see now if you don't actually have a space this big where you're having to put dividing walls and furniture and stuff like that, that's okay. Even just dividing by a screen or a backdrop or something like that is much better. Another tip, face your desk away from your bed, either towards a wall or a window. And it kind of is less distracting by looking at your bed because every time I look at my bed, I'm sort of like, oh, I'm sleepy. I want to go snuggle in there. So <laughs> one of the big tips I would say is I always make my bed as soon as I wake up because then I'm not going to crawl back in there. But also then I want to block out the idea that this is a, you know, sleeping space because I'm now in my office space where I'm supposed to be doing work. So I want to face my desk away or if you can have some sort of dividing wall like I've set up here. Now let's look at a couple of the key elements that really help you work from home productively and it's not a dog. <laughs> That's my dog buddy. But there is a couple of pieces of furniture and strategic things that I've done in this space that help me work. First of all, I don't like clutter. I feel when things are messy that my mind is messy. So I like to have lots of storage. I know these little cube shelves you can get from Ikea which just help to put things away. All right, the next thing that I really think is important is having a really decent chair. So, you know, whatever your budget allows, I specifically went out and bought myself a decent chair. I didn't particularly like how it looked in the video. So, you know, you can always like pretty it up by putting little rugs and things over it. Let's have a look at my desk. I actually have the MacBook Pro 13 inch and even though I do video editing and sometimes I feel like I would like a larger screen, I do like this size. I specifically got a smaller one this time because I do travel around sometimes and I wanted to have it in my handbag. So I used to have a really big one, but it got really big and heavy in my handbag. Now I'm going to just come over here. I've got some books and resources down here. There's one clever thing here. There's a lot of people, especially at the moment and we're doing lots of you know webinars from home or we're doing zoom meetings and things like that facebook meetings so what i found here i found this at kmart this is kmart in australia which is a little bit different to kmart in the us and see how i just put my laptop up on my stand there so when you're going to do a meeting where you're recording from your computer See, this height is so much better. I'm actually recording this from my laptop right now. And when you're doing things like Zoom calls or stuff like that, you want people to look at you as if they're looking at you in real life. <laughs> and at eye level is much nicer than if I just had the computer like this. Now, personally, I don't think this is the greatest angle for my chin, <laughs> but I also don't like when I'm watching someone like this, it almost feels like they're talking down to me. So does that feel like I am talking down to you right now? Now I like this because it obviously goes with my decor, <laughs> but you can always just stack your things on a pile of books as well. Now lighting is another good thing. Always want to make sure that you've got good lighting. This one came out in Australia again. This one doubles as a phone charger and it actually has a couple of little light dimming things or different light settings. 
Now I also have a little stand here to do some videos if I want to or if I'm doing a video FaceTime call. This one turns around. This is actually a Joby stand and that's just one for my desk. Coming over to the shelves here, as I said, I like to keep things really clear. There's some books that mostly are a mindset type stuff or marketing. I've got some little things here. So I like to work from notebooks. I'm always scribbling ideas and notes down. So I've got these that really helped me just like put those notebooks in there. I love essential oils. I'm always wanting to put them where I can just easily grab them. I actually have my diffuser over here next to my bed and there's a beautiful crystal there and that actually has peppermint going because peppermint is actually really uplifting and makes me quite energized so I use it a lot in the mornings so especially when I'm into work mode and I love this wild orange it is amazing I love citrus anything that's going to kind of uplift you really setting the mood to work is going to be super super helpful and then we've got my <laughs> little reading nook here which is been taken up by somebody <laughs> but I actually bought this chair specifically and I love sitting here reading books or just jotting down ideas in a notebook sometimes for my videos now you might have also noticed if you're eagle eye and you know that I do videos is a ring light this is called a Luvo ring light this is a full stand one and this is for when I do videos and I just keep that there tucked in that little corner there because I've used that quite often I always find if you keep the things that you need to do videos for your business you're more likely to actually do them if it's too much of a hassle to pull all the stuff out to get the setup then you're probably not going to do it and you know me <laughs> I always recommend doing videos for your business that's how I first got millions and millions of views on my videos in a very small niche when I first started online now two more little tips that I want to give you is always think about if you're doing videos for your business think about your office setup and how you will look look and how your backdrop will look when you're doing videos. If you're not able to block off your bed like I do with a little makeshift wall or stack of shelves or a screen or anything like that, you don't really want to be facing like an unmade bed or anything like that when you're doing videos. Now, it's okay to have a bed in the background of your videos, just make sure that it's super neat and tidy and I guess that it suits the style of your videos. And the other thing, having an office in your bedroom, your bedroom office is you want to make your office kind of go into this style and decor as your bedroom. I personally like keeping it all in one style. I feel like it keeps it neat and tidy and it kind of makes me want to be in that workspace. So I like the space that I work in. <laughs> so obviously you don't need to do exactly what I'm saying. I'm not saying my style is the best. It's just a style that makes me feel calm, focused and ready to work. Oh, my dog. <laughs> Buddy, come here. And two other little things about working from home from a home office in your bedroom is make sure you get dressed to go to work. I personally don't really like working my pajamas. I always get dressed in something I wouldn't wear normally in the day. Yes, sometimes it's workout clothes, but I actually prefer to work in just normal everyday clothes or something that I would go to work in because it makes me feel ready for the day and ready to get productive. And lastly, don't forget to be you. <laughs> We love lots of animals in our family. So sometimes I put them in my videos. And while some people may not think that is the most professional thing to put in your videos, I personally think it's one of the joys of working at home. Be you and bring your personality into working from home and especially doing your videos for your business. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks for joining me. If you know someone who's also setting up a home office or an office in a bedroom, share this video with them. And make sure you subscribe for more videos on on how to create success with videos and building a business around your family that you love. Hey, make sure you watch the next video. It's how to set up a YouTube channel properly for you and your business. And I've also got another video right here, which is all about being confident on camera. So enjoy those, click one of those now so you can continue watching the videos. Bye.